Heavy metals such as iron, copper, and lead enter our water supply and increase in concentration. The presence of these metals is a major issue to our governments everywhere, as these chemicals are harmful to humans and even the environment that they enter. This is a great issue because there are other sources that contribute to farm runoff, such as manure. There are approximately 500 million tons of manure produced each year by about 288,000 working farms in the USA. This is a large number of farms that can contribute to farm runoff. And this is a large amount of these chemicals that enter the water. There are also many other sources of these chemicals around the farm, such as iron and copper come from animal feed, lead comes out from burnt out farm machinery, that is usually just left out on the yard to rust away, so that, and then this rust will enter the water supply when it rains, and this will create farm runoff, which will travel to the nearest lake, which is harmful. Um, phosphates and nitrates come from fertilizers that are used on the crops, and when it rains, these chemicals are transmitted from the crops as they would be washed off into the wa runoff water, which would be created from the rain, and then this would travel by flowing to the next environmental area, such as the next lake. So, the solution to this is phytoremediation. Phytoremediation is the natural process in which plants can remove these chemicals from the water, store them in their shoots and leaves. The process in which these pl plants can remove the chemicals through their roots is called phytoextraction. The process in which they can store them in their shoots and leaves is called phytoaccumulation. Phytodegradation is when the plants can break down these chemicals into natural nutrients that they can use. And marsh plants would be the ideal for plants that I tested in my experiment. But the type of plant that is used for this experiment will be decided on the size of the contamination, the type of contamination, and the volume of water that is being cleaned. Overall, the solution to this major problem is phytoremediation. What farmers can do is create constructed wetlands which will have these plants growing in them and then special trenches will guide the runoff water into this area and the marsh plants will be able to absorb these chemicals as they travel through the constructed wetlands and then eventually after a period of time they would release back into the water supply but it would be filtered of these chemicals and it would be clean and it would not harm anything in the environment.